This is the disassembly video for your Kia or Hyundai balance shaft oil pump drive assembly. As previously discussed, there's multiple key components and we're going to go through that as we tear this down. Now for the sake of time, I've already loosened the visible bolts. There is a hidden bolt that I'll show you in a second. First, you got to mark your pickup. You want to put it back exactly in the correct location. So you can do this by indenting the sides and then matching them to all mark up. Second, you're going to want to loosen this to remove your relief valve and spring and clean them and inspect. When you're rebuilding this balance shaft, you must clean it and then do a thorough inspection of your thrust surfaces because if it does not clean up well, you should not reuse it and this rebuild kit will not work. So for the sake of time, everything's loose, but first we're going to show you this. This is a reverse thread. Righty loosey, lefty tidy. Second, timing marks located here and here on this shaft on the nose. So when you rebuild, you'll be able to time it based on that. I'm going to remove these four. You're going to have to pry this case off. It splits into two cases. This shaft stays through as it is pressed on on the outside with the gear. Now that I've loosened this top piece, remove it. Spline drive here as well as it's perfectly fit back there. Next, you have to remove this case, but this does not come off. This stays through, it is pressed on, and you cannot remove it. You have to rebuild this with that piece still installed. Once you have this front cover off, this is two separate pieces, but you're gonna wanna move them together to start. There's one of your drive gears is here, but what happens is you have a hidden bolt down in there. So you need to pop your screen out without damaging it. So you can access that bolt. Now once you've gained access to that bolt, you begin the removal process. Now this gets a little frustrating, but it's just a slow process. Slow and steady wins the race. Once you get this hidden bolt, you're going to be able to open up your casing here. Now, once you remove this, you must clean all your service areas properly and you have to inspect all your service areas and check for any signs of damage before continuing on. If it is wiped out, burnt up, discolored beyond what you believe is good, then it is needs to be replaced. Get another used balance shaft assembly, start again. Now, your oil pump drive gear, you have one in here, but it's easier to access it once you're able to remove this shaft. You can open this up, split it up, get your drive gear out, go from there. Check on all your surfaces. Check your thrust surfaces. Make sure it's not overly warm. Remove. Clean. not going to come off so you must do all of this with it attached it is sort of a pain but you're able to work through it now I already loosened this before I performed the removal so it should come off pretty good just find a good pry point 
Okay, now that I've got this opened up, you have another oil pump drive gear in here that you need to remove. Inspect all your thrust surfaces and make sure that it's not excessively warm. And then clean that. When you're rebuilding this balance shaft, there's two options of bearings that we have. So as you can see, one is wider than the other version. This is for newer balance shafts. This is for the older version of balance shafts. We have descriptions on our website that you can go to and see the different types of balance shafts for these to know which type you need to order. Now, when you install it, if you order the wrong ones, you'll install the wide ones and you'll see that they're too wide for this. You have excessive amount of material sticking out. To install your balance shaft bearings, just install them centered, press down lightly, and you'll see that that's perfectly in the groove now. Repeat the process for all your other bearings. Now, this balance shaft does have one spot that you need to make sure you install your bearing correctly. Otherwise, you will block an oil passage flow and the oil pump drive will create low oil. If you install this bearing over this gap here, that's actually an oil flow line and it'll create this to fail. So please double check that you've installed that with the gap there so there's room for this to flow. All right, so when we're going back together, we gotta reinstall oil pump drive gear. Just get this pressed back together. Now, we're already dropped this in. When you're rebuilding this, you want both sides to be parallel with each other. There's no timing marks on these gears, but you want to keep your counterweights flush with each other. This could be a little bit of a pain, but you want to make sure you get them set in there. See, I have it set, but that's incorrect because it is not parallel. Make sure they're firmly pressed into place once you have them set in parallel. Okay, with our balance shaft counterweights balanced and parallel to each other, you can now install the top. This gear, there is a certain point where it must sit. So you must install this and then double check that. Install your lid. Check to make sure that that's in the right location. It is. Now you can move on to installing your bolts. When timing your balance shaft, it is based off this marking on your snout here as well as this mark on the timing on the front cover. So this is removable, this gear. It's spline drived in there. So you have to make sure that you get your splines matched up. But then when you go to install, you have to have the gears blended correctly. Not only that, you have to time it. So you may be in now, but you have to compare 
to your front cover to see how your timing matches up. Because it's based off of the gear marking on the, the shaft. So what I'll do is I'll pull the shaft up, install your gear, and check your markings. So as you can see, this is not actually lined up to there. So we're close, but not correct. So you can go back and do it again. So I just tried again, still not lined up. Hopefully that is it. Just give it a little tap. Still my gear. Then reverse thread. And as you can see, I am now lined up here and lined up there. Within the marks, within the marks. Perfect. Now that my alignment's correct and I'm all timed up, I'm gonna install my bolts. I go ahead and torque this all up I'm gonna confirm that you can see that everything is now spinning correctly and smoothly so no binding everything is good check your timing And remember to torque this bolt down. Time is solid. All right, now that we got our bolts installed, I'm gonna to torque down all the bolts. My front bolts are gonna be at 10 foot pounds. My big bolts are gonna be at 18 foot pounds plus 45 degrees. Now we gotta go install our pickup, make sure that your marks are all matched up. Now you're just gonna wanna tap that into place, make sure it stays nice and tight. Don't damage it. Install our spring. Don't drop your relief valve, but then install your relief valve. Install the plug. That spec's going to be 15 foot pounds. Thank you for watching. 
And please feel free to reach out if you have any questions about how to rebuild your balance shaft oil pump drive assembly for your Kia or Hyundai. Thank you very much.